Hi, it's Leslie Zemeckis back with another woman you should know. We have Sarah Goodman Confina with her latest Don't Forget to Write. There are actually two women in her book that you should know. The first is Marilyn, a young woman who is shamed for getting caught doing something a little naughty with the rabbi's son. Uh, but who you'll really love is her great aunt Ada, who she has to live with after the scandal. So Ada's in her 70s, she's completely glamorous, she drives a Cadillac convertible, and you know I always post pictures of my 54 Cadillac, named Tempest, by the way, after famous burlesque stripper. So here's Sarah, and I'll see you next time with A Woman You Should Know. Hi, my name is Sarah Goodman Confino, and I'm the author of Don't Forget to Write. When I started this book, I wanted to tell the story of two women who live and love as unapologetically as possible in a time period where that was not socially acceptable to do. So when Marilyn, who is 20 in 1960, gets caught making out with the rabbi's son during services, spoiler alert, everybody catches them because they go crashing through a stained glass window, her parents are mortified and tell her that she has to marry the boy, which it's 1960, not 1860, and they only kissed a few times. She's not doing that. The alternative is to go live with her matchmaker great aunt in Philadelphia for the summer. Figuring a summer of boredom is better than a lifetime of it, Marilyn chooses her great aunt Ada, and she thinks she'll be able to get around her. You know, she's young, she can do what she wants still. What she is not expecting is her great aunt to show up speeding through Philadelphia in a Cadillac convertible, not unlike Leslie's, and with platinum blonde hair and stealing Marilyn's lipstick, saying that it looks tardy on her, only to apply it herself at a red light, saying that she can pull off anything. The two women bicker a fair bit in the beginning, but soon learn to love and respect each other. And as Marilyn sees more of Ada's life and how she has been able to carve out a spot for herself in a society that does not want to let women be who they are, Marilyn realizes that maybe she does not have to live her life the way that her parents want her to and that she can carve her own path as well. It is a fun tale set in New York, Philadelphia, and the New Jersey Shore, and I cannot wait for you to experience Marilyn and Ada. Thank you so much.